Captain Fathom. Astros Private War. At the headquarters of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral McGonagall places an important diplomatic call. So I repeat, Fathom, even though it's just a routine call, we would like you to attend to the signing of the peace treaty between Kabuki and the Ida Piete. What do you think? And aboard the Argonaut, Captain Fathom cannot believe his ears. Sounds absolutely ridiculous to me, Admiral. Neither Kambuki nor Piete has the equipment or the know-how to wage a war. I don't get it. It's government policy, Fathom, so hop to it. I gotta go out here. Oh, for Pete's sake, if that doesn't take the cake, I'll... Policy is policy, Mr. Ambassador. All ahead, full, Ronnie. Let's get this mission on the road. Aye, aye, Captain. All ahead, full. And as the mighty Argonaut races toward the island, on Kambuki, the chief says to Rudolph and his crew, Now that I've helped you guys fix your submarine, maybe you wouldn't mind doing me a little favor. Und why not, mein Herr? Without your help, it would have taken us months to repair our U-2 boat. What can we do for you? I have to sign a peace treaty with a presidential possessor of the island of Pieri. You guys mind taking me there? It will be a pleasure, mein Herr. Fritz, Hans! Ha-ha! <laughs> Jawohl, mein Herr! Ja, mein Herr! Prepare to get on the way at once! Mach schnell den Kopf! And as the U-boat takes the chief toward the island of Piete... This is some boat you guys have here. Makes my war canoes look like, like, um, war canoes. If only these dumb cops would have fixed a cunning tower on this beschlugger submarine, we could have gone under seas. It would have been much safer there. It was Fritz's fault, mein Herr. He could on it. One of these days, Hans, I'm going to give you such a good knock. Ooh, you are going to regret this. Stand by, we are approaching the island of Pietney. Prepare to dock. Marcel! And as the U-boat approaches the island of Piete, the chief of Kambuki once again admires the controls. Yes, sir, this is some boat you guys have here. What's this, the air conditioning unit? Suddenly, a torpedo is launched from the submarine. We are being attacked. Stop. We surrender. We surrender. Ah, Chihuahua. With one torpedo, they destroy our entire Navy. There goes the old highlight game. Holy cats! They're gonna think that was an act of war! Quick, you guys, let's get out of here! The heat's on! Mach schnell, dumm Gott! Turn the submarine around! We must get out of here! Quick, before the bombers to pieces! Jawohl, Herr Captain! We surrender! They don't go away! We surrender! Sweetheart, you are a ninny kapoop. If they shoot a torpedo at us, we must shoot a torpedo back at them. I recognize the flag. It's the chief of Kambuki. The chief of Kambuki? But why? We are at peace. We were going to sign a peace treaty today. Peace, schmies. If they shoot a torpedo at us, it is up to us to shoot a torpedo back at them. This is war, my dear. My chihuahua, I don't believe it. We don't have enough weapons to stage a war. And the island of Kambuki has uh... spears. All they have are spears. And even battle, love. A chihuahua. And aboard the U-boat returning to the island of Kambuki, the chief says to Rudolph, Step on it, men. We're going to get back to my island in a hurry and prepare a defense. There's no telling what that guy will do. Now that we've torpedoed his Navy, do not worry, my dear. We will help you. We have weapons. Oh, this will be like old time. Yo, oh, mein Herr, we will help you. We have a cannon. <laughs> but we have no more torpedoes, Herr Captain. And that was the only one we had aboard. Hans, you are a dunker. The United Nations ain't gonna like this. Boy, what a mess. And later aboard the Argonaut, Captain Fathom receives an urgent message from Admiral McGonagall. Go ahead, Admiral, I read you. What's the problem? Over. And back in Washington, Admiral McGonagall gives an order. Fathom, you've got to get to Camp Boogie as fast as possible. 
is the Red One Emergency Alert. A state of war now exists between Kambuki and Piete. What the? Maggie, that's impossible. They've been friends for years. What happened? The chief of Kambuki has just torpedoed Pizazzo's Navy. Get there as soon as you can. Out of here. I don't believe it. What in the world could have happened? Give me emergency velocity, planesman. Aye, aye, Captain. Emergency velocity coming up. Stand by. The mighty Argonaut races for the distant island of Kambuki. And aboard, Captain Fathom alerts his crew. This mission is more important than you might realize, crew. If Kambuki and Piete get into a shooting fracas, it could prove disastrous. I don't need you, Skipper. Neither of those islands have the capacity for wage of war. You forget, Scotty. To maintain a balance of power in the world, all nations and countries were divided and have individual peace alliances between themselves. I'll accept that. No matter how insignificant the country, the minute one declares war on her neighbor, her allies must immediately take part. I still don't understand, Captain. Unless Kambuki has a different peace treaty than Piete. Yeah, and therein lies the rub. Both Kambuki and Piete are allies of the United States. Holy Toledo! You mean if they go to war, the United States has to help them fight each other? No, or help them settle their problems peacefully. So, guess who's elected? Boy, talk about responsibility. We! ETA, Miss Perkins. We should hit Kambuki in another half hour. Piete, El Presidente Pizastro, and his Vice Admiral Jose prepare to take off on a peacekeeping mission. I do not wish to question you, Senor Presidente, but I am thinking you are making a big mistake. How so, amigo? When those Cambuquians see us with these torpedoes, they will knock us out of the skies. And I cannot swim. I will be in much trouble. You are wrong, mi amigo. When we return a torpedo, they will thank us for being so considerate. I will bet on it. No bet, Presidente. If I win, I will drown. If you win, I will lose. So what's the difference? Hold on, amigo! Here we go! Good luck, Austin. I shall keep the whole fire burning. Hurry back! And aboard the Argonaut, Miss Perkins spots something on radar. Captain, there's a plane or something heading for Kambuki from the island of Biette. Could be a missile, Skipper. What'll we do? Activate the aqua viewer, Liz. If President Mazastro is using missiles, it can only mean he's got outside help. Aqua viewer on, Captain. And look at that. No, it's not a missile. Looks like Mazastro's playing, Captain. And going to bomb Kambuki. ETA, Liz. Fifteen minutes, Captain. They'll beat us there. Oh, boy. Try to raise Mazastro on the intercom, Perkins. We've got to stop him. While Miss Perkins tries desperately to contact El Presidente, back on the island of Kambuki, Rudolph alerts the chief. But you must defend yourself here, chief. The best defense is a good oven. This has always been true. A good philosophy, Captain, but not the same as ours. I do not understand, Herr Chief. Somebody attack us, we surrender immediately. Surrender? You would surrender without fighting? But why? How could you? Simple, really. Somebody attack us, we surrender. Then they gotta take care of us. Be the luckiest day Kambuki ever had. You got to be kidding me. Truman Fighter Craft, Herr Captain. Two o'clock low. Man your balance station! Much nail you got! <laughs> we are ready, my hair. We will get knock a nail from the sky. Uh, you don't think we ought to merely give up then? Am I right, Captain? Get out in the rain. This is war. Please, allow us to take care of it. Well, okay. If you guys want to take a chance on getting maimed, that's up to you. I appreciate that. Rain, Frank! I'm going back to shore and watch. No sense of my getting smashed up. Ten miles, Herr Captain. I mean, after all, if a guy wants to get his head shot off, that's up to him, right? Stand by the cannon, Hans! Ha-ha! <laughs> you more, Herr Captain. We are ready, Bacon. No reason for the chief of Kambuki to risk his valuable neck on misguided philosophies. Right. Five miles and closing, Herr Captain. Uh, Captain, why don't you give me a call when the fiasco is over? Commence firing and fire at will. Just shooting them down. 
and as Castro and Jose near the island of Cambuki. And too late, the mighty Argonaut arrives at the island where Captain Fathom says, It's on, crew. There's a World War I submarine firing at Pizastro's plane. Jump and jaw, Sophance. We're in the middle of a war. Now that the war has begun, what can Captain Fathom do? They're going to bomb him, Skipper. Look. Oh, no. Don't do it, Pizastro. Don't do it. And as the old war plane dives toward Kambuki, Jose makes an observation. Madre mía, señor presidente. If they hit us with a gun and it is all over but the Ole. Do not worry, Jose. We will drop the torpedo near the submarine. That way they will see we mean no harm. Surely they will be grateful if we're kind enough to return their weapons. They will reward us. See, they will explode us from the skies. Caramba, what a plan! journey home. Aboard the huge Argonaut, Captain Fathom gives an order. Stand by to come about, planesman. 180 a port, emergency velocity, new heading 250 degrees. Coming about, sir. But that Piette, Captain, I don't understand. We've got to stop his astro. If we can get there before the chief of Kambuki retaliates, there's still a chance to stop this war. And as Captain Fathom heads for the island of Piette. So you see, my dear chief, we must bomb and invade Piette at once. Oh, boy. The United Nations ain't gonna like this. But since he dropped a bomb on us, I suppose it's the thing to do. Red and prepare to set sail at once, them cap. Fuck snail, fuck snail. Meanwhile, on the island of Piete, Captain Fathom and his crew meet with El Presidente Pizastro. And Mrs. Pizastro tells them... This is a private war, Captain. There is no need for you to get involved. On the contrary, Senora Pizastro. There's every reason in the world for our trying to keep the peace. I do not understand, mi amigo. Well, that's easy, Presidente. What happens to Piete and Kambuki could affect all the free nations of the world. Suppose the United States were to help you in your fight with Kambuki. And some other country decides to help Kambuki. Now I am more certain than ever that Jose is not going to this war. Someone has spoke to you, Jose? If I say you go to these war, you will go to these war. But I am an unconscious objector. You're going to be unconscious, Jose. Just keep giving my husband troubles. Anyway, Presidente, for the sake of peace in the world, we can't allow you and Kambuki to conduct a war. It would appear, my dear Capitan, that you can no longer stop the war. Caramba, what a fiasco! Oh, no, those idiots. Why couldn't they wait? And as the chief of Kambuki Island prepares to invade Piete, what can Captain Fathom do to prevent certain disaster? Again and again, Captain Rudolf von Messerschmitt shells the little island of Piete. 
Mrs. Pizzastro gives an order. Jose, to the battle station. We are under attack. Just because you give the order doesn't mean I will carry them out. Since when does the president's wife give orders to his admiral? You are an admiral? It is true, my love. At the time, it seemed like a good idea. And we needed an admiral. But I am the head of the Joint Chief of Staff. So? 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 So, I am ordering Jose to the battle stations. And right now, underlay, peasant! The Chief of Kambuki and Rudolf von Messerschmidt plan the invasion. Ah, oh, come on now. You sure this invasion will work, Captain? I mean, really, there are only four of us. We cannot fail here, Chief. We will surprise them without daring. But first, we soften them up with a few more for sugar and shells. Hey, you like this invasion idea, Hans? <laughs> Nine. We could be maimed severely if they are not surprised. I don't like this idea at all. It is a stunken idea. I heard that, Dumka. I heard that. Sorry, mein Herr. I'll be too, Herr Captain. Uh-huh. Boy, this is going to be some invasion. Commence firing, Jose. Give them what for. That's all we can give them, Miss Head of the Joint Chief of Staff. We got no powder. We got no bullets. All we got is the what for. Whatever that is. Minter also. Excuses, excuses. All I get are excuses. Is that the only weapon you've got, President? Eh? You don't stand a chance of defending this island with that thing. We do have a top secret weapon, senor. However, it is so deadly, I hesitate to mention it. At this point, Presidente, I don't think you have a choice. What is this secret weapon? It is a top secret and deadly guided missile, senor father. A missile? You have a guided missile? See, si. Pieti is not as old-fashioned as many people think. Well, let's not just stand here, man. Take me to the missile. There's still a chance we can save your island. Well, it looks like a makeshift job to me, Presidente. How does it work? Atomic power? Dynamite? Oh, no, Senor Fathom. We use Jose power. Okay, I'll bite. What exactly is Jose power? Now, Jose, she's climbing into the missile, okay? Okay, then what? Jose is shot from the top of the palace here, okay? Yeah, then? Jose in the missile lands next to the enemy submarine. He opens the hatch. He swims to the submarine with his drill and makes a hole. Now into this hole, he puts a stick of dynamite. He lights the dynamite and the war is over. Clever, no? President Pizastro, that has to be the wildest scheme I've ever heard of in all my life. I thought you might like it, amigo. There is only one thing wrong with the missile program, however. Only one thing. What's that, my friend? Jose is not going up in that thing. First, I would join the enemy. I told you this before, me, Presidente. That you have, Jose. That you have. Hey, Skipper. It looks like those fellas are getting set to invade. I could get to the yard going. No. We can't land an active hand, Scotty. All we can do is advise and try to stop this mess. Jose, she's got the idea, me, Presidente. Anything, Jose. What's your idea? Why we not shoot the secret missile at these gringos, and maybe it will scare them away. You know, that just might do the trick, President. Eh? Who fires this thing? My wife, senor. She's the only one who knows the operation of the secret missile. And I am ready, my husband. Jose, get me a match. Ah, since it was my idea, I will go get you a match, Madam President. Got it. Yes, Skipper. Get the crew aboard the Argo and take her out to sea. I don't want us involved in what's about to happen. Can't you, Skipper? You coming with us? No, I've got to see this thing through. Contact you later. Later, the Argonaut cruises away from the island. And on the palace wall, Jose is about to launch the top secret missile. All right, Jose. One for the dinero. Two for the show. Three to make ready, and four to go. Okay, Madam President, Jose, she's like the missile. Stand back! Right. Quick, everybody. Back to the wall. Some war. We 
give those guys enough time to blow themselves right out of the water. I suggest, Herr Chief, that now would be a good time to invade. You don't think we could just declare a major victory and go back to Kambuki, huh? That is not the way it is done. We must invade Vienna and capture the enemy. But I've known for Zastro for years. It just doesn't seem right to me somehow. Huh? Go on, Captain. 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 Prepare to invade, Buckner! At once, Herr Captain. And on the island of Piete, Mrs. Pazastro corners Jose. You did that on purpose, Jose. You could have destroyed all of us. You have ruined the top of our palace. You will be thrown to the shark. An accident, Signora Pazastro. It was an accident. Hey, a Presidente! Those guys are starting to invade our island. They look as serious. You are my advisor, Capitan Pablo. What would you advise? I suggest you sue for peace, Senor Presidente. Maybe we can negotiate an honorable settlement. It makes sense to me. I like these honorable settlements. Jose, you are a ninny gum poop. So is your husband. Uh, Presidente, I have an idea. We could make this skirmish an international conflict, but uh, I think under the circumstances it's worth a try. Anything, amigo. We need it, the help. Well, let's get to your radio. We've got to contact the Argo. And shortly thereafter, Miss Perkins, aboard the mighty Argonaut, receives a message. Remember, whatever you do, don't hurt them. This is just a bluff. I read you, Captain. We're on our way. Out here. What if those jokers begin firing at us, Miss Perkins? Right. We'd be sitting ducks. And if they use that cannon... Too late to worry about that now. The Captain's given us an order. All ahead, full run. Yes, ma'am. New heading. Bearing 105 degrees. I just hope the skipper's bluff works. We could get the Argo sunk if it doesn't. On the island of Piete, Rudolph and the chief prepare to advance against the palace. I still think this is a mistake, Captain. Leave this to me here, Chief. I have the experience necessary for this invasion. This will be a schnapp. Look, mine here. They're on the ball. <laughs> it is Captain Farnham here, Captain. Hello, Captain Farnham. Guess who is here? Don't you are a schweinhund. What is the matter with you? I'm <laughs> sorry, Herr Captain. I forgot for a moment there we were. Now hear this. Unless you people surrender immediately, we'll sink your boat and destroy you. I knew it. We know you cannot do nothing, mein Herr Fellow. You have no weapons. Now we demand that you surrender to us. Perhaps we should surrender, Capitan. He is correct. Look behind you, Captain. Again, we ask you to surrender. What do you say now? Himmel! It is the super submarine! I don't know about you guys, but that's good enough for me. Let's give up. If they sink the under the sea boat, Herr Captain, we shall be gestucken here forever. Forever, Herr Captain. We have been lost in the wall. We're not out of sight yet. Hey, you guys win. We give up. What do we do now? Come into the palace. We'll meet there. Be right up, Captain. All right, boys, let's go. Surrender. And within a few minutes, the war comes to an end. All right. Now that you two have signed a peace treaty, there's no need for any further conflict. I congratulate you both on using your heads. Ah, uh, I never wanted a war in the first place, Presidente. I originally came over to sign our annual peace treaty, like every year. I am glad, amigo chief. I too wish to sign the peace treaty, like every year. Then why did you attack us with the torpedoes, Senor Chief? An accident. But then Captain Rudolph decided to... Rudolph? Hold it, men. Where is that scoundrel? They're making a run for it, Captain Fathom. They're putting out to sea. Caramba, look at them go! Men did also. Why did you not tell us they were escaping? You did not order me to keep watch. I only do what I am ordered to do. Then I hereby order you to go into the dungeon and lock yourself up. Sorry, but those kind of orders I will not obey. You will obey if I tell my husband. So tell him I still do not obey. But well, Jose, it was your fault they escaped. Huh? I'm only a presidente. So you go to the dungeon. It's your island. Arrest him, husband. 